So, I now have a totally new development with the engine. Um, I've got this new regulator here, and this one's quite special because it can regulate from 0 to 2 bar. So this is acting as a zero pressure regulator, which means that the vacuum that the engine pulls is actually sucking the propane in. Um, I did try and drill the hole inside there where the petrol jet used to be bigger, but the problem was um, that the hole was behind the, the butterfly valve. And uh, the smoke rising out there, but the, the gas is off anyway. Um, but anyway, that failed, so that's all sealed up now. What I did do was run it into sort of the chamber bit, like where the petrol pump used to be. It used to have a pump that sort of worked based on the just based on the vacuum and pressure coming back from the engine, and it moved the uh, diaphragm which pumped the petrol. But now that's actually sucking in the fuel, and it seems to work pretty well. But you have to open up the throttle a little bit to get the engine to run. And it's quite loud and fast. So much so that it blew the plug out the hole in the exhaust there. Because um, I did make a hole in the exhaust when I was uh, removing some sort of belt clutch assembly that used to be on this. So I'll give it a try. Another start up. Okay, so now ready to start. Um, I will need a longer idler screw on the... Um, it's called the butterfly valve in there, so I need a longer one to hold us back a little bit because it barely idles now, but it sure revs up anyway. Yeah, and it just about shakes everything off the work surface, but um, I think judging by the sounds of it, it's working a lot more powerfully now. So, a bit more about this. I've got the regulator here, which is which is just outputting a fairly low pressure, maybe um, maybe about 10 psi. This regulator, and it's going into a needle valve here, which is pretty much just fully open, and it's going to this special regulator here, and that's just fully open, so it's set to effectively zero pressure. So it's actually the vacuum produced by the engine that's sucking the propane in. It, it runs really rough now, but it seems to run with more power, so um, that's a good development. Yeah, there's the sort of plug I made up for that hole, it just got blown out. But I think that's a bit better. It would be quite good fun to put it on the back of a bike actually. Um, but I don't think I'll ever be doing that. It's, I don't think it's really going to go in there too well. So that's where we're up to. One thing I'd like to just add at the end here, um, you do get special, specially built regulators for this purpose. They're called zero pressure regulators, I think. Now I'll be looking on eBay, and kits with them in it are like over a hundred pounds. And um, the cheapest zero pressure regulator I could see that's actually for this was about, if I remember correctly, about seventy or eighty pounds. This was eight pound, so. That's a great improvement in price. But any sort of regulator that you could set to zero pressure should hopefully work.